Hey, welcome. My name's Ken and I am looking like a Neanderthal <laughs> hanging outside with my hair flopping everywhere. Um, just want to let you know that uh, I got a staff tutorial for you guys tonight. Things are slowing down while I'm working on Ultimate Ninja, but the moment we're done with that, I will be back with you all. Uh, it's going to be a busy summer. It's going to be awesome. Things are looking really good in the circus world. So anyways, enjoy the staff video. If you have any requests for other videos, poi videos, nunchuck videos, staff, double staff, or more, just holler. Even if I can't make it, I can find someone that can. All right, Your peace. Is you gotta know the pinwheel both directions. Okay, once you cross the top of the pinwheel, we're just gonna turn 180 degrees and uh, we're gonna keep going with it. So if I'm passing it counterclockwise like this, I'm gonna turn 180 degrees and I'm gonna slash down and back up to my head. So here, turn 180 degrees, slash down. As I slash down, it's gonna go behind my back again, and we're gonna pull it back up. Now you'll notice we're in a reverse pinwheel. So let me start it off again. You're in a regular pinwheel. As soon as you pass it over, we're gonna turn 180 degrees, slash down, and pull it behind our back again. And now we're doing a reverse pinwheel. Once we do the same thing, the moment we transfer it to our other hand, we're gonna slash it down under our feet, and we're gonna turn 180 degrees, and it's gonna be behind our head again. So here, slash down. Cross, slash down, up. So it looks like slash down motion. You can keep it going, of course. Slash down and up, slash down and up. Again, once we cross it over, we turn 180 degrees, we slash it down to where it clears our back. What I mean by slashing it down to, it's not going straight down. You can tell we're just doing a pinwheel. I'm turning 180 degrees and I'm slashing it to the point where it's behind my back and pulling it back up like I was doing the pinwheel again. The moment I transfer it. The one thing you want to really get used to with a lot of these motions is, is almost like if you're doing a figure eight but you're elongating your arms like this. So you want to be able to get used to like extending into the figure eight. Here, slash up, slash up. So this will help you when you're just doing your regular, what we were doing, uh, we're doing the box, which is here, to reverse figure eights, to pinwheels, to uh, front figure eights. This will kind of give us the, uh, the same idea, except for this time we'll be able to turn with it and rotate 180 degrees. Um, we can also do the same thing with behind the back passes too. So right now we've been passing over our head and spinning with it. You can also do it as we pass behind our back. Now this will go the exact opposite way as the other one, of course. So if we're going here and we're slashing down. Uh, as we pass here, we're going to turn 180 degrees and slash up. And then as soon as we slash up, it's going to go behind our back and we're going to make our pass here. Turn 180 degrees, slash up, it goes behind our back. Here, here, here. Anytime you can go back to the pinwheel because essentially, what you're actually doing is you're doing a pinwheel, turning 180 degrees and doing a reverse pinwheel. So the moment I pass this out, I can go straight to the pinwheel. And remember the moment I pass it again, I can do that turn again. So you have two motions and as you play with it a little bit more, like I said, you'll have a lot of really fun. You have a fun time, just be like, whoa. <laughs> You know what I mean. You have a lot of fun just spinning it around. And dropping it. Hopefully that helps.